Kampalach Diocese was established in 1966 during a political crisis that swept across Uganda. Last year, the Archdiocese made 50 years and Namgongomata's shrine was chosen as the venue to host the Jubilee celebrations which were pushed to this year. The ceremony was attended by President Yoweri Museveni and the Prime Minister of Buganda Kingdom, Charles Peter Maiga. Vatican Representative Fernando Cardinal Filoni laid mass. During his sermon, Cardinal Filoni condemned the continued abandonment of the poor by those in power. A lack of solidarity towards the needy will directly affect our relationship with God. Moreover, it is not enough just not to mistreat the needy. He noted that government needs to find solutions to the problem of unemployment among the youth, lest they be persuaded to engage in unlawful acts. Many have not reached these goals and remain in the peripheries of society. We must not let them be abandoned to themselves. Other speakers put to task leaders who don't want to vacate their positions to let others take up leadership roles. Renew leadership in whatever form it may be for the cause of Mother Church and for the cause of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, do not have fear. In response, the president blamed poverty on Ugandans who have failed to follow what the Bible says about work. It is also a Christian duty to use the gifts God gave us to get out of poverty. President Museveni also commended the church for the cooperation during the construction of the Matas Shrine, which has boosted tourism in the country. I would get embarrassed because I would see so many people from within Uganda, from the region, but the facilities were not good. So I said, I want to know. Kampala Archdiocese has had three archbishops since inception, including Emmanuel Cardinal Sobuga, Emmanuel Cardinal Wamala, and incumbent Cyprian Chizitolwanga. By 2016, the archdiocese had four dioceses and more than 65 parishes under it. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.